Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football Saturday afternoon and some massive news for the Oklahoma Sooner fans coming out of the recruiting trail as three-star safety Marcus Wimberly from the state of Arkansas commits to Oklahoma. And this is a guy that when I saw this news, I thought perfect fit in terms of not only how Brent Venable, Zach Alley want to play defense, but more importantly, the culture that Brent Venables is continuing to try to cultivate in this Oklahoma locker room, a physical safety that does a ton of different things at an extremely high level. And I mean, at the end of the day, just a football player, the guy that has played quarterback, has played running back, wide receiver, defensive back. This is a guy that you want in your Oklahoma locker room. And I think a massive get for Oklahoma and as a Michigan fan, really wanted him up in Ann Arbor. We were going after him hard, and I think Oklahoma fans, y'all got a very exciting one in Marcus Wimberly. Want to get into the film, talk a little bit about what he brings to the table for Oklahoma before we get into it. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Oklahoma fans. No other way I'd want to be spending my Saturday afternoon than Talking about Oklahoma on the recruiting trail, I truly have a blast doing it. The amount of support y'all show the fellas truly does mean a lot. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Marcus Wimberly. And I first want to start with the fit in the Zach Alley, Brent Venables defense. And specifically Zach Alley, when we did our film breakdown on Zach Alley, we talked about how creative he wants to get with these Oklahoma safeties. You turn on the film with a guy like Marcus Wimberly, not only a phenomenal athlete, but a guy that can do so many different things. You talk about a box safety that can be physical at the point of attack, provide value in run support. Marcus Wimberly, that's all over his film in terms of the physicality that he plays with, but also a guy that has really some good range in the back end as well. In 11-4, in the 100 meter, some nice range, can go sideline to sideline, plays the football in the air extremely well. You look at Zach Alley, how he wants to use these safeties in so many different ways. You need to get safeties coming out of high school that have shown that they can play in a lot of different formations, a lot of different packages, and have that versatility. And you turn on the film with Marcus Wimberly, you see that show up on a consistent basis. Another thing I like before we get into the film is, I mean, former quarterback, has played wide receiver, has played running back, and I love that from these kids coming out of high school because what does that tell you? They understand the game of football at a high level, and you talk about that safety position, talk about the makeup of elite safeties at the college football level, it comes down to instincts, right? Can you diagnose what's happening in front of you, what's happening behind you? Can you read quarterback's eyes? And Marcus Wimberly, having played quarterback, having played wide receiver, has a really good understanding of the sport of football. And you see those instincts show up in meaningful ways on the film. You get into the film and you kind of just see all the different ways that Marcus Wimberly can impact the game, right? We're going to see the movement skills. You talk about the athleticism that's required at the safety position. You fire up this film, the quick twitch, the long speed that Marcus Wimberly puts on display. And you want these kind of athletes in your defensive back room, right? Real quick twitch, getting in and out of his cuts. You talk about playing in man coverage, having those kind of movement skills translate to the defensive side of the football. That's certainly going to play a role. And then you see the physicality that Marcus Wimberly plays with too. And that's probably one of my favorite attributes. Going to the SEC and trying to establish that kind of culture. You want those guys that are not afraid to be physical, especially at that safety position, right? Again, you've seen them block very, very physical at the point of attack. And how I want to highlight that play and kind of that, what you see on the film is you talk about safeties. Some of the biggest problems that we see with safeties at the college football level is they might have the crazy length, the crazy track time, but when it comes to tackling, when it comes to being a presence in the box, they sometimes lack it. You do not have that problem with a guy like Marcus Wimbledon. Here you see kind of one, the instincts, two, the physicality that he plays with in the back end. You take a look at the film. It makes so much sense why they want Marcus Wimberly playing in this back end, controls the middle of the field, an absolute force when that football is going between the numbers. This is exactly what you want in your safeties. Not afraid to come downhill. Be physical at the point of attack. Again, culture, culture, culture. Right, what the culture that Brent Venables wants to bring to this Oklahoma program, I feel like Marcus Wimberly embodies that. And we talk a lot about this on the recruiting trail. It's not only getting the elite caliber athletes, which Marcus Wimberly certainly shows on the football field, 
you got to recruit the guys that fit what you want your program to look like. And I think Marcus Wimberly certainly fits that, right? Michigan, Oklahoma, physicality, that's what you want to cultivate. I don't think it's a coincidence that Michigan and Oklahoma were going after Marcus Wimberly as hard as they were. You continue to roll the film. You see multiple things triggering downhill, making plays, going sideline to sideline, stretching things out. That's all the stuff that we value at that safety position, showing up on special teams as well, playing his butt off. This kid plays so hard every single rep. A really impressive guy that, again, just fits exactly what Brent Venables wants to do on the defensive side of football, working through contact, going and getting the ball carrier, a very sure tackler. This seems to be a perfect fit for Oklahoma and Brent Venables. And you take a look at this class and we continue to talk about that. The Brent Venables in the talent acquisition, we just talked about transfer portal needs for Oklahoma. And our big conversation was they don't have that many needs. And how do you get to a place as a program where you're going into fall camp, coming out of spring and saying, yeah, we don't have a ton of needs that we need to address in the transfer portal. It's because you get it done on the high school recruiting trail and going into cycle three, for Brent Venables, you're seeing him do a very good job getting a lot of guys coming into this program, developing them up. And this is the deepest we've seen Oklahoma be. And I think that's a direct result with what Brent Venables has done on the recruiting trail. And you scroll down about what Oklahoma's building in this 2025 class, you see an emphasis on athletes, right? Whether it's Washington, whether it's Marcus James. Brent Venables and this Oklahoma staff want to just get athletic football players into this program and then figure out where they're going to play and kind of coach them up that way. But it starts with the talent acquisition of high-end athletes. A guy like Marcus Wimberly certainly fits what Oklahoma wants to do. I really do like this fit. Marcus Wimberly, one of my favorite players in the 2025 class. Sad he's not coming to Ann Arbor, but happy he is going to Norman. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. We'll end it there. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.